been moving in a way that nothing else people have ever known. Greetings, Special Centurions, and welcome back to our Adventurer Guild. In the last episode, we were successfully able to put the Necromancer scum that was giving us so much difficulties before down, killed his ass with no problem, and yeah, we also found Ferdinand the sword, which we've managed to level up, which is really awesome. So we've got quite a significant power up in the last stream. In this stream, I therefore intend to do the other character side quests, story quests that unlock the different classes. So, Mai the monk, uh, defeat, oh no, not Mai, Bai, sorry, the monk, and defeat her to get monks unlocked, and Rogue's friend to get the arcane caster, or whatever they're called, unlocked. Uh, we're going to do that in a few minutes. But first, these guys need to heal, a couple of these guys need to heal. Um, but yeah, we're going to look and see what else we've got available see if there's anything else worth doing which there isn't no so let's check the story rogue's friend rogue wants the adventurer's help to find her friend before her old enemies do so she wants the adventurer to check one of the possible hideouts while she checks the other okay so this one uh, according to shane who was in the stream last um episode uh this one apparently you start surrounded It's night time. You start in a surrounded situation. You have to hold off waves of enemies, I think. We're going to give it a go. If we fail it, we'll load. But we, I reckon we can do it. 
Uh, we're level like six now and stuff, six or seven, most of the guys. So, yeah, um, it is saved because I just loaded. Duh, I don't know why I'm trying to save it. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to check something, but I can't remember what it was now. No, I just can't remember what it was. Assignments, was that it? Mm. Nope. Upgrades we can't do anymore until we get the next mission done. No, okay, let's just go ahead and do it. Story quest, rogue's friend, accept. Do, 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 do. So, Jafar can go on it because we want to be as powerful as possible to succeed. And he's our most powerful wizard, basically. Oh no, Alyssa is, but she's injured. Okay, yeah, she's quite injured. Uh, tank man can be our tank. Uh, priest is rank 7. So because we start surrounded, I want the squishy to be as high as level as possible. So I want her to go in. Or maybe I choose someone sacrificial. Hmm, so it doesn't matter if they die. Uh, I don't know. I think we just go for tanky fighter class people. If we're going to be surrounded, then there'll be, there'll be no way to protect the squishies. So we can't have too many mages and stuff. We've got two mages already. Whatever else goes in needs to be tough. Uh, oh yeah, this isn't good. We've got nothing but like backliners now. All our two-handers, all our frontliners have gone to the farms. Monster could step in, but he's he's significantly we could fa we could fast heal monster, so we'll fast heal monster. That'll be the two hander. Do we take another tank, Hazel? I think we take another tank. Yeah, because we need someone who can survive, who can like protect themselves and keep themselves alive, basically, and not just take too much damage from a single hit. Um, so that's the team. We're just going to heal Monster quickly. I don't think he's been healed recently anyway. Let's just check. Doesn't say. Do I have to do it? Oh, I can talk to the Paladin as well. I didn't notice that. Uh, I'll go back and talk to him in a second. Where is Monster? How do I check your mood? There we go. Yeah, hasn't been healed. Okay, so we're going to force heal, force heal him. Um... Monster heal. I'm going to talk to this guy and see what he has to say. Guildmaster, I'm happy to report that I have not seen any evil today. <laughs> That's good. I heard from Eden you had a hard time settling down. Hmm, <laughs> that boy worries too much. I'm still perfectly fine. Evil does not know rest, so neither do I. Pretty sure evil has to rest too. Then that's even more reason not to rest. We will not only catch up to evil, we shall overtake it. Then we'll trip evil, push it to the ground and beat it to an inch of its life. You do hear yourself, right? How else can I help? <laughs> bandits! Where are they? I'll deliver justice on them myself. No, Zoldak, there are no bandits here. I was just wondering what you think about them abducting people. They do what? <laughs> I shall venture forth in freedom! Damn it, wait, Zoldak, wait! <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, okay, let's do the mission. Uh, little quest, story quest, rogue's friend, accept. Yeah, and he's healed now, good. Do we have a ring that increases magic? Yeah, we do. I thought so. Plus 10 SP. He can have that instead of the plus 2 attack. Plus 2 attack is nothing compared to an extra 10 SP. That's like two more shots. Two more magic spells. Yeah, all good. Okay. Uh, how many rations? Oh, yeah, you don't take rations on this one because it's a fight for your life situa situation, surrounded situation. We are going to take a bunch of health potions. In this case, I'm going to take 10 health and 10 mana, and that's it. Hmm. 
Oh uh, yeah, keep the tight that guy safe like that. Yeah, I think that's how we do it. Accept. Let's see if we can do it, chat. Oh, okay. Twenty-one lockpick, eh? Why is monster? Oh yeah, we don't have a thief. Come on, man! I need you to do this. You just need a ten. Thank you. Nice. That was worth it. Fire potency and fire resistance. Oh, fire mage. That's going on, Alyssa. Definitely. Three magic attack and fifteen SP for a bard. Interesting. Okay, we'll take both of those. That's nice. Thank you very much. Oh, shit sticks. After the party entered the old wooden cavern, several shadowy figures appeared out of the darkness surrounding the adventurers. It seemed like Rogue's enemies had gotten to the hideout before them. Before they could wonder what might have happened to Rogue's friend, one of the ambushers, presumably the leader, started to question the adventurers. You! Where is the traitor to the hand? The adventurers didn't quite understand what the man was talking about. Feigning ignorance, are we? No matter. We have ways to make you talk, the man said while pulling his daggers. Prepare for battle. Okay, so it is, yeah. Oh my goodness. They're all fucking ninjas. Oh, well, this is bad. And they're all hidden. I'm glad I brought Jafar. I think. Or oh, he's probably just going to die in the first turn. <laughs> so we can't attack him, right? Yeah, we can't attack him because we can't see him. So we just have to delay and let them come and attack us. Priest can remove hidden from targets. Uh, wait until someone comes in. And then you can do it. <coughs> Jafar has true sight, so you can hit one of these. Um... He can hit this guy and hope he set him on fire. Right, he can't be hidden anymore, surely. He's on fire. <laughs> uh... Nowhere is safe. In the bush. No, that's next to someone. Go okay, there. Sixty-four percent chance to hit him, but it will. Oh, it's a boss! Fuck! This guy's a boss as well. Ninety-six. Okay. Backstab, ambusher, passive, hidden for two turns. Okay, so they've all got ambusher, I'm guessing, but he's just elite, so he just does loads of damage, probably. Okay, so we definitely want to stun the elite, so yeah, come here and heroic hit and stun bop him. Bop! Uh, and then get your shield up, because you might as well. Monster! Can't attack anyone but this guy, and he can't get to- oh, he can reach this guy. I don't like going up against the high ground, but if you're gonna do anything this round, you kinda have to. BP up, uh, and kill him please, with a crit. Uh, no crit, shame. At least you hit. Priest can... Holy Light... Holy like this will kill him, but it's only a 69% chance. I think she comes here and holy lights this guy to get just to 49%, 79%, 94%. Yeah, go for this, but I can't use BP. Yeah, I can do it. Get, we need to kill these guys as quick as possible. Kill him. Nice. And then you don't need to heal anyone yet. You could do that on her, not yet. Okay. Finish. Uh, you can taunt this one. Oh, you can't taunt even hidden. You can't even taunt hidden targets. I guess that makes sense. You can't even... What am I saying? Yeah, you can't taunt whatever. So she can't do anything to anyone but this guy anyway. 
So she might as well just attack and use... And then use second wind to get some health back. Jafar can still target hidden enemies, so... Uh, I say he comes to here and blows this guy up again. Oh, did I move him out of range? I moved him to a point where he can't... Yeah, kill him. Nice one, Jafar. I bet they're like, what? Huh? How can he see us? I don't get it. How's he hitting us with fire all the time? And Jafar's like, my Jagan eye, bitch. Mr. Chef de Cuisine, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Hello, just checking in as I have a lecture in three minutes. Hope you stream long enough for me to be done with school. Uh, I'm going for a couple, a good few hours today, mate. I don't know if it'll be long enough for you to finish school, but yeah, hopefully I'll catch you later. Have a good day streaming. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. All right, have a good street. Uh, have a good lecture, mate. Good luck with it. I hope it um, all sinks in and you enjoy it and learn it and understand it. Uh, catch you later. Uh, who am I doing? Priest. Okay, priest can definitely move to here. And no, okay, can move to here and re do this to reveal. I wonder if it reveals hidden even if she misses. I'm not going to take the chance, but I just wonder. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Far. Hee hee hee. Yeah, BP up. And stun bop him again. Keep him stunned while we dispose of his ads. And get your shield up. Oh, a nice monster can come and attack this guy. Yeah, just go for an attack. You don't have enough BP. Yeah, nice. You don't have enough BP to do a heroic kiss anymore. Go for that guy, you got a higher chance of hitting him, you still missed anyway, oh well. Jafar, Jafar, can fire blast this. Oh, he missed on a 92%. Fucker. And he came and attacked and poisoned the healer, that's so annoying. Good work, monster. I move up. Uh, now you can steal bop him. Don't, yeah, I can't, I can't afford to keep using BP. So some of them he's going to miss, and I can't do anything about it, but... Yeah, she can Holy Light... Oops, no, she can come here and Holy Light. No, she can't reach. Okay, she can do this to... Oh, how much damage does this do? 79%. Oh, I'd hit Jafar as well. So yeah, do this. Just see if you can hit him. Nah. Oh well, run away. Fifty percent miss. That's a shame. Oh, missing! It's just a dark clusterfuck. No one can see anything. Nice crit. Very nice. Good work, monster. Um, you can actually heal this chick because. She's getting a bit low there. Jafar can set fire to this fucker. Nice, you finally got him, Jafar. Good work. Right, there's just one left. And we're going to go and shield bop him again. Burn him, Jafar. Burn him good. Nice, you're burning him good there. See how this fucker likes getting fucked from every fucking angle. You can finish him with a magic missile. Very nice, good work guys. The <coughs> Excuse me. The adventurers managed to defeat the ambushers. While catching their breaths, they noticed more presences hiding in somewhere in the dark. The party got into formation ready for the next ambush, however something unexpected happened. A flash of light suddenly appeared in the darkness, only to disappear and reappear in another location again. 
This happened several times and every time it did so, the party could hear a slashing sound and a scream of death. At, the, at last, the light appeared in front of the party and a woman stepped out of it. The woman looked like she was a knight wearing a set of heavy armour and carrying a mighty two-hander on her back. Keep the distance, I will burn you to cinders, she said while conjuring a flame in her left hand. Apparently she was also a mage. Who are you? You are clearly not together with these guys, she eyed the adventurer suspiciously. The adventurers told her that they were here to find Rogue's friend and bring her to safety. After hearing the explanation, the woman started to giggle, a reaction that was a strong contrast to their initial impression of the mysterious woman. Rogue, is that what she calls herself now? Her expression softened. I guess some people never change. You have fulfilled your task. I'm Rogue's friend, she told the adventurers. Please, take me to her. Can we trust you? How do we know we can trust you? You could be an agent of the unknown, mysterious entity people who are chasing her. That was a nice level. Whoa, and the XP as well. Very nice. That was a good quest. Luana. Hello, I guess you're Rogue's friend. If she is who I think she is, then yes, I'm her friend. And I assume that you're the one who has sent those adventurers to help me. I'm grateful for that. It's alright. She seems to be a bit more open than Rogue. Maybe I can finally learn something from her. So what's your name and how did you get to know Rogue? Well, I'm... Luana! Are you fine? Did they hurt you? Whoa, it's just gone into a random cinematic. That's cool. Or, like, the art. It's just gone into a random art image. Yeah. This is new, a new way of telling stories. Cool, I like it. I'm fine, are you sure? Really, you don't have to worry. Well, this is an unexpected reaction. She really was worried, wasn't she? Oh, I see you returned as well. Yeah, my place turned out to be a dud. The only ones waiting for me there were some old acquaintances I had to take care of. That reminds me, did the adventurers take care of all the ones on their end? Don't worry, I took care of it. They shouldn't know that the Adventurers Guild has helped me. That's Luana for you. I should have expected nothing less of you. Why are you staring at me like that, Guildmaster? Am I? I just thought that. You really care about her, don't you? W wait, what are you implying? It's not what you're thinking. Are you saying you don't care about me? No, 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 I didn't mean that. I, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure if she wasn't hiding her face, she'd be seeing pretty... We would be seeing a pretty red face by, uh, by now, right now. Guildmaster, again, I'd like to thank you for your help. And I'd also like to thank you for keeping a dear friend of mine safe. Well, the latter is more of a decision of my predecessor, predecessor than, me, than mine. Nevertheless, thank you. If you allow it, I'd like to stay here with Rogue. Just uh, like her, I can offer you to teach your adventurers the skills I learned during my life. I heard about it from my adventurers, a warrior capable of casting spells, a very rare combination. I'd be a fool to object to that. Thank you, Guildmaster. Seems like we'll be together for a while, Rogue. I really missed you. Mumble, I miss you too. Oh, so sweet. We got a new trainer. Nice. Adventurers ready to level up. The egg hatches, chat! Excitement started to spread amongst the people in the guild when the supposed dragon egg the adventurers brought back with them surprisingly started to hatch. The egg wobbled and a small crack appears on its outer shell. The adventurers formed a tight circle around it to see what would come out of it. As the egg cracked open, a tiny creature crawled out of the shell. It really seemed like a dragon except for one detail. It had no wings. Magica, present at the scene, remarked that the creature seemed to be a basilisk, not a dragon. Uh-oh. A collective groan of disappointment arose from the adventurers, quickly silenced as the little hatchling fixed its big green eyes on them. Wobbling towards them on tiny feet, it unexpectedly hugged the leg of one adventurer, seemingly mistaking them for family. The adventurers, touched by this gesture, turned to the guildmaster with pleading eyes. In response, the guildmaster simply sighed and told the adventurers that they could keep it. We've gained a little... ah, oh, We've gained a basilisk! We've got plus 15 poison, that's so cool. A young basilisk hatched from the strange egg the adventurers had brought back with them. Despite its tender age, it remains feisty. Luckily, it appears to be loyal to the adventurers' guild. Okay, so which egg was that is the question. Was that the legendary one? or no? Yeah, it was. So the legendary egg has hatched into a basilisk. That's cool. I'll take a basilisk. That's better than a fucking dud egg. Uh, nice. Priest leveled up to level 8. Yeah. 
I think she can do better than that on some of these. Reroll, please. Uh, same. Okay, whatever. That's apparently what she was going to get. Jafar! Nice, good level. Good level, I'll take it. Rosa. Oh, nice. Tank man's level 7. <clears throat> hey, good level. Okay, that was it, wasn't it? No one else can level up. Oh, there's someone else. Oh, monster. I forgot about monster. Hey, he's level 6. Nice. Oh, awesome. Good level. Good level, monster. Very good. Adventurers, you can learn new skills. Priests can learn new skills. Nice. You can start learning these, right? Yeah. Level 8. Yeah, nice. So let's, um, we obviously want to go for the healing spells immediately with her. But let's see what some of these other ones do. Restore. 15 SP and 15 BP. Restore full hit points. Regenerate 100 man, 100 man, yeah, full magic as hit points for three turns. And remove all negative status effects. Fucking hell. So that's basically just a fully heal. And then give 21 hit points for three turns thereafter to keep them set on their feet. And remove all negative status effects as well. Jeez, that's good. Oh, we want improved healing, definitely. We also want Radiant Reach. We want these three, for fuck's sake. There's so many stuff, things we want to get. We want that. Probably want these, the mass heal. Yeah, so group heal, definitely. Fully cleanse. Meh. Rejuvenate. Regenerate 50 MAB as hit points for three turns. Yeah. So regenerate 10 hit points for three turns. So that, yeah, that's a really good healing spell as well. So we want that. And then we also want to wearing this because it increases, it, it, it gives you initiative dodge and SP, which is what we want on her. So we want all of these along here. Question is, which ones do we want first? I think we'll we'll go for increasing this and restoring SP. That's one. And then whilst we do want this, it is really good, but it's reliant on BP to use. In the meantime, we just want a better healing spell for her than the healing that she has at the moment, which is, which is these ones, Rejuvenate, Mass Heal and Fully Cleanse. So we'll take that. Uh, and then who was the other person? Monster. <clears throat> he can have attack of opportunity, I think. No, counter, close combat training. That's the most one of the most useful things. Just being able to retaliate every time you get attack and just do shitloads of damage over the course of the, the battle is, is really good. Uh, let's talk to this. Let's talk to Leanne and see what she has to say. Greetings, Guildmaster. Whoa, that's a lot to talk about. Luana, I have to say that from your look and behaviour, you seem to be very different from Rogue. Are you affiliated to them like her? No, I'm not, Guildmaster. To tell the truth, I, I myself do not know much of they other, they other than that they call themselves the Hand. Whoa, what a mouthful. <laughs> well, at least we, know, we don't have to call them they anymore. Rogue herself won't tell me anything. She says that any knowledge I gain only put me in danger. It's kind of cute how much she worries. She has been acting cuter since you got here. So what's your affiliation then? I am, or better I was, part of the Crown Order. The Crown Order? Isn't that the chivalric order founded by the King to gather the best knights in the country? Yes, it is. Then it also means you're a, a noble, yes. My full name is Liana Moonguard. So, not even low nobility. Even I have heard of the Moonguard family. You really have a high-class friend here, Rogue. You don't have to feel uncomfortable around me, Guildmaster. None of that matters anymore since I lost my position in the Order. I have no titles anymore. What about your family? I was dishonorably discharged. To them, I'm already dead. I see. Is there more you'd like to discuss? Fake name. 
So is Luana your real name? It's my parents' given name, if that's what you're asking. Oh good, nothing to worry about in that regard then. I was just considering the possibility that Rogue might have told you to give me a fake name. I can see her doing that. Is there more you'd like to discuss? Rogue's relationship, or relationship with Rogue even. It looks to me like you and Rogue live in two different worlds. How did you two meet each other and what's your relationship? I'm sorry, Guildmaster. I'm not sure if Rogue would be fine with me sharing that story. If you really want to know, try asking her. That probably won't be easy. I can see. I can only say that the first time I met her, it was the best day in my life. Aww. Is there anything you'd like to discuss? Mentioning Rogue. I think I noticed a pattern. So, about Rogue. Yeah? Never mind. Oh. But that reminds me that Rogue once said. What did she say? I can't remember. I see. I should try this with Rogue too. Is there more you'd like to discuss? It's just being a dick now, basically. <laughs> Bandits, I have to say that I rarely met bandits myself most of my life. There was one time where the order was sent out to destroy a group of bandits that has made the mistake of robbing merchants affiliated with the king. What happened that day couldn't even be considered a fight. But most of the time bandits were rarely an occurrence for me. I guess bandits know better than to mess with the powerful people. Not much consolidation for everyone else. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, good. So that's everyone leveled up now. You've got nothing to say to me, woman. Tomorrow we get new adventures. We should have a new assignment now with the rogue training. Yeah, the night training. Oh, this is something different though, actually. Assigned characters, minimum of two. Luna has offered to provide the adventurers a condensed version of the training she had undergone during her time as a knight. Her experience and knowledge could prove invaluable to those adventurers who strive to survive their next quest. One physical attack, one magical attack, and five SP. That's pretty good. Who do we want on that? We're going to take it now, because it only takes two turns, and I just want to get it done quickly. Well, Jafar's a damage dealer, so we want, and we want SP on him, so Jafar can go in for magical attack and SP. Um... I mean, you want it on everyone, basically, don't you? There's no one you don't want it on. Alyssa. We definitely want it on her. SP, SP, SP. Who's el who other S what other SP are we trying to get on? Slade, I guess. Whose other SP did were we trying to increase? There was someone else I seem to remember saying that we needed to increase their SP. Oh, Leon's a mage as well. I just sent all my mages on it. Um, but there was, who was it? I can't remember. It's really annoying me. There was one person on our team and I was like, they could do with more SP. And I can't remember who it is now. Huh. That's really frustrating. Was it Monster? No. Well, Bannerman's going to become a bard, isn't he? So he's going to need as much SP as possible, and he needs physical attack too, so we'll send Bannerman. Right, the other thing I wanted to do was check um, what the Arcane Knight is about. A heavily armoured warrior capable of wielding magic. Unlike other magic wielders, the Arcane Knight does not fear direct confrontations. Okay, so it's a two-hander that can use magic. That's insane. Unique skills. Level 16. Passive. 50% of physical damage gained through items and traits will be added to magic. What? 50% of physical damage gained through items? Oh, I see. So your physical damage turns to magical damage. That's cool. And then you can enchant the blade with a chosen element. Okay. Fire damage, ice damage, or lightning damage. Cool. Okay. And then this, what's the skill tree like? Yeah, it's basically a two-hander. Just has arcane training. Whoa! They need a lot of skill points. Jeez, Louise. Okay. And what tier are they? They're tier two. And what do they need? 10 strength, 10 intelligence. I'll have a look through and see if anyone has its strength and intelligence, but I don't think they do. Chef de Cuisine, intelligence is only 5, unfortunately. Elan, intelligence is only 5 again. Benjamin. 
Lancet, not even close. Monster. It looks like it's going to be Monster is going to be our arcane trickster. Our arcane knight even. He only needs two more intelligence and he can make it. And he's resourceful. So he's got good uh, SP. So hopefully in a couple of turns he'll make it to um, arcane tricks, arcane knight. That's cool. I knew there was a reason we were leveling him. And he's got the experience book as well, doesn't he? That was what I wanted to do. I wanted to give out the equipment that we just picked up. We just picked up some really good shit, didn't we? Yeah. So, oh, a bound skill. You can summon a basilisk hatchling. That's awesome. I can summon a basilisk. That's so fucking cool. I'm so glad I brought that dragon egg. Uh, this we need a bard for, which we don't quite have yet because Bannerman's still leveling up. This is really good. Fire potency and fire resistance. That is going on uh, Elissa. Because her fire spell is already doing shit tons of damage. I'm going to take that off and give that to someone else, I think. Uh, yeah, because she's going to get the fire, mate, fire gloves instead. And then... This thing... Lightning potency and lightning resistance. That needs to go on a mage, doesn't it? I guess it can go on... Uh, Jafar, because he uses lightning quite a lot. And he's got the lightning stun thing, doesn't he? Yeah, so he can have it. Where is it? That can go on Jafar instead of... He's got plenty of SP. He doesn't need 100 SP, for crying out loud. 87 will do for the moment, so that's that. And then what's this? Armor of the Warrior Mage. It's heavy armor. 20 hit points, 30 physical resistance, 55 bleed resistance, 20 SP. Whoa, that's so good. Uh, Mr. Chef de Cuisine, I think you can have that, buddy. Mins, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Might be worth considering giving Monster a class with better intelligence growth if we want to make them an arcane knight. Um, well, he has to restart. He restarts his, um, his skill points and stuff. I'm happy with him the way he is. He's, at the moment, he's a, he's a warrior. Which has, uh, D intelligence growth. Uh, I think we'll try, we'll try one more. Does he have, um, he doesn't have, no, where's the... His skill thing. Oh, you have to go into the training. I wanted to see his skill tree to see if he has any way to improve his intelligence naturally. I don't think he does, though. It might be worth considering that. You're absolutely right, Mins. I will think about it. I'll let him level up once more, and if he doesn't get any intelligence then... Uh, I can't remember, basically, what his intelligence percent chance is. It says plus 8 base, so he started with 8. That's... No, he can't be right. Plus 8 base is what levels up each turn. But I can't remember what percentage chance he has of intelligence leveling up by himself. So, yeah, I guess we'll just leave it for the moment. Um, yeah, I think Mr. Chef de Cuisine can have those, uh, this armor. 20 hit points, 10 more physical resistance, 5 more, and plus 20 SP. That'll be really useful for dealing for swinging Ferdinand. Ten physical resistance, ten hit points, yeah, nice. Think D is twenty percent. Oh, is it? Okay. Hmm. So he keeps all his stats that he currently has, doesn't he? If I change him to a different class, he'll just reset all his skill points. So if I change him to a wizard, for example, he'll keep 20 strength, 12 endurance, 10 dex, 11 whiz. I guess I could try. I could save it and check for science. And he'll keep his stars there and there, will he? The only thing that will change is intelligence growth. I think that's how it works. So yeah, you might be right. It is probably worth doing that. Let's, um, let's science it. Uh, 
Oh, wait, hang on. I can't do it now anyway because Monster's gone on that thing, hasn't he? No, he didn't go. Okay. Uh, I do want to buy him a drink, actually, because he's sad. Because he got force healed. So I'm going to buy him a drink first and then we'll look at changing him next uh, tomorrow. Priest can have a drink. She's sad. Hotshot is just just still orgasming over the uh, weird training session she had where people beat her up. Uh, so drinks for those two. Stats don't change. Okay, so it's definitely worth doing that when I can. Once he's finished drinking. I guess he can't do that because the character will be busy now. Yeah, the character's busy. Okie dokie. Um, so what can we do? We're going to wait one more day, I think. Oh, forest. Two to three. Treasure full of riches. I want a four to five really full of riches. Four to five. Collect six ancient stone tablets. Four to five. I think I can do the two to three with this actually. I think it depends. I can't remember what I've got, but I think I've got mainly two to threes left. No, I've got quite a few four, fives, and sixes actually. Tank man can tank, even though he's, he, I mean, he's ranked 7, so he can easily tank in a 4 to 5. Yeah, I think we'll do that 4 to 5 one. <coughs> or we'll do a 4 to 5 one, which could be this. Defeat by. Do we go and defeat by? It's a one on one, isn't it? By what? The by attack? The by scenario? Agreed to teach her martial arts to the adventurers in the adventurers guild, however, only on the condition that one of the adventurers is able to win against her in a one on one fight. Yeah, so the adventurers cannot die in this quest, they will still be out of the quest when they hit smoke to zero. Okay, so this one you can just try. This one you can just try as many times as you want with whoever you want. So who can go on this one? Who wants to go on it? Who can go at the moment and just have a, have a go at defeating her? No one, really. We don't have anyone capable of fighting her. Okay, we'll go on a different run, and then we'll do that when people get back from their different things. We did, we just did a story mission, so I'm happy doing something else. Where's the four to five? Lots of traps. No, thank you. Two to three, two to three. Forest, four to five. Explore an old fortress. Two days remaining. Which one's better in terms of reward? That one is way better. That one gives you 12k experience. Yeah, we're going to hunt the target. That gives you 12,000 experience. Okay. So, Tank Man's going in. He can be our... Um, what's the word? Not our doppelganger. That's not the right word. Doppelganger is not the right word at all. Avatar, that's the word. <laughs> he can be our avatar on the map. Uh, who can heal? Rosa. Rosa, Rosa. Yeah, Rosa can come in and heal. Uh, Nathan Finian can come in as a damage. Oh, wait. This is going to be a long, lots of combat going on, fighting kind of situation. I think... Yeah, we don't have a choice, actually. Nathan needs to come in. We need the damage from him. And then... John can come in, but I don't like the fact that our two-handers are really low level. I guess John and Hotshot. John and Hotshot can come in. Hotshot's not even that great, though. I mean, she's got decent stats, but they're not that high compared to some of our other people. But again, Daryl doesn't have those good of stats either. He just has potential. He has Lone Wolf as well, which is really cool. 20% more damage when you're out of range of your friend, friends and allies. Uh... Joshua is just garbage. Well, he's not garbage, but he's just really low level. Alright, fuck it. Yeah, we'll take John and we'll take Hotshot. We don't have any other choice. There's no one else left. Oh, this could go disastrously wrong. We've got a level 7 tank, though. We should be okay. Uh, we can change some of this equipment, though, definitely. So, yeah, you can get the heavy armor there. Um... Do we have any? We don't have any leather armor, unfortunately. But you've got plus ten accuracy and plus twenty accuracy. 
Why have you got those two when Daryl doesn't have... Daryl has plus 10 accuracy and plus 2 physical attack. Uh, well, whatever. Cart Shot can keep them for the moment. She's going in. SP and heal. He Tank's got health and resistance. Dodge and health, yep. Health and damp uh, physical resistance, yep. Accuracy and 20 accuracy. I hope they stack. I don't think, with that much dexterity, I don't think she needs double accuracy, so maybe we'll give her something else. More SP, that could be useful, potentially, for... Oh, physical attack. Yeah, let's give her physical attack, so she does a bit more damage, she hits a bit harder. Okay. Don't have any more starves, do we? Yeah, we do. Good, give that to her. Um, take all the food and we're going to take some healing potions as well yeah we'll take two stacks of each haven't played the version 1.0 yet but isn't the recommended level 4 to 5 yeah it is yeah so it should be easy enough I'm just uh, yeah speculating on who's who's worth taking and who's um Oh yeah, Hotshot's a ranger now, isn't she? I forgot. She actually looked classed up. So yeah, cool. Um, and she's level 7, which is pretty good. She's just, yeah, I don't know if she's as powerful as some of the others could be, like Daryl. So I'm just wondering if we just replace her with Daryl now and keep using Daryl. But she's also quite powerful, so I don't know. Maybe use both. Let's see how she does on this run. This can be the deciding factor for her. So he's wandering around somewhere, the bandit leader. Are we in the middle of the map? Yeah, we are. Oh, we're in the top left, so we're going to go up, actually. Oh, do we want to fight bandits before we've got a big fight? I don't think so. Let's see if we can uh, do this some other way. Like, uh, intimidate them out of it or something and still get the loot. The party side of a group of bandits who seem to return from a successful robbery. They were carrying several bags of loot and seem to be in high spirit. Right now, the adventurers haven't been spotted yet and have the perfect opportunity to ambush the bandits. The party decides to. Yeah, attack them. We want the loot. I'm greedy. The party waited for the opportune time. The bandits were the most vulnerable. Then an instant they ambushed the dumb fan of bandits. Prepare for battle. Okay, so we've got a bunch of XP. I think I saw a patch note saying that there is quick save now. Yes, I think you're right. I can't remember. I haven't checked what the button is even. But I think there is a quick save. Oh, she actually does a lot of damage. Yes, attack the guy with a massive shield. Oh, he resisted the stun with a 75% chance to resist and he got it. That's annoying. Yeah, quick save option for my save scumming ways. <laughs> F5, is it? Can you save during battle? No, you can't quick save during you can't save during battle, obviously. Uh, thank you. I'll use it in a minute when we get out of the combat situation. Do you want revealing light, anyone? No, I think we save our mana and just magic missile this fucker. Move away. No, move away this way so you're near the healer. You're near all the people who need to heal. 
Uh, yeah, John can just attack. If I go there, he'll come and smash me, so... Probably just stay here and throw a fucking dagger at someone. Yeah, nice. still smash me but he's taking his turn I reckon I'll go before him next round hopefully teehee miss Nathan shoot him in the back of the head um, he's going next so yeah come out of the way come back here Okay, cool. Uh, F5. Yay, it works! Hooray for safe scummy! Oh my god, this is a long forest path. Without enemies or anything to account for it. It's just an endless path. Where are you, bandit scummy leader? Is this him up here? No. That's not him. Oh, I missed a bit in there. He could be in there. We have to go around. That's annoying. Oh, treasure chest. She has to critically fail to build in order to fail, not succeed. Yeah, we have to go through these guys. Because he could be up there. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. I'm going to camp. Well, I'm exhausted. They move two tiles. So for every one tile that you move, they move two. So you can get caught really easily when you're tired. Uh, John can increase his damage. Hotshot, can't do anything. Nathan Finian. Actually, Hotshot can hunt for supplies. Two. Damn it, she got the minimum. That sucks. Two sucks, Hotshot. Try harder. Uh, Tank Man can talk to Rosa and get her BP up. they weren't in here. Shit, there's goblins that way. I'd rather fight the bandits. <clears throat> oh shit, maybe not. There's a lot of them. Fuck me. fucking arches as well. Are you kidding me? Good crit tank man. Very nice. I suppose that means you can hide. That's something. Fuck off. 
fucking need no send me. If that hit Nathan, should have done. Should have used one of those, really. Uh, bleed him. Uh, come and hide. You're gonna go get some berries. Everyone's stunned. Rosa, Rosa. Hide in the bush. They're flashing us. Owie, John's gonna take a pounding here. Owie. But they're all set up nicely for a cleave. So that's good, I suppose. Fortunately, they're all gonna keep going and just nailing John. Oh, thank goodness I missed. Nom 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 berries. Doop de doop de doop de doop. Ooh, I want that treasure chest, but there's dire wolves in the way. Yeah, the fuckers. That's about right. Bang on average. Oh, 95% missed though. That sucks. Oh, I should have healed as well. In step to here to be a block. 
but you won't get attacked. Tank man struggling with his dire wolf. You can use some BB to um, cut this one in half, yeah. Nice. Oh, it only lasts a turn, doesn't it? I forgot that. No, come in here. He's blatantly going to move off and try and attack Nathan Finney and I don't want him dying. No, okay. I'm going to keep going up in the tank. These guys will hit him eventually. Oops. Come and get the berries. Actually, no. Just come and kill it. Ah, not worth it. So not worth our time. Oh shit, and now we're trapped with fucking elementals. Please go right, please go right. Okay, we're gonna go up. We have to get yeah, because they're coming across. Yeah, camp. Uh you can go hunting again. Four more supplies, good. Ambush percent is only twenty percent, so John just polish your sword. Um BP up Nathan Finian. Uh, and you can BP up Nathan again, I think. Can't do anything else with two, can we? No, just BP up Nathan again. 20% chance. I'll take it, I guess. You see the prices on Mechan's latest items. It's ludicrous, I know. Uh, I'll feel like, yeah, Dragon's Horde, just to afford the prices. Probably will. Anyone want breakfast? Oh, I've got quick save now, haven't I? I keep forgetting. Go. Go, 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 go. Straight down the middle. <laughs> Fucking wolves, man. Alpha wolves. Everyone's got tons of BP though, which is good. So we can use it for heroic hits if we need. Yeah, like this. Forty four percent chance. Nice crit, straight between the eyes. Yes, yeah, I'm not surprising that missed on a 39 percenter. Oh, 44 hits though, and they get the chain attack for the kill, beautiful. <coughs> Another dodge from John, very nice. Gonna bleed this fucker. Oh, I forgot about the fact that we wouldn't hit him. The problem with rogues is they just take too much damage in the interim. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're supposed to be dodge tanks, but if their dodge isn't high enough, which most of theirs isn't, they, um... Nice, you between the eyes did again. They, uh, they take shit tons of damage when they do get hit, basically. And they get hit too frequently to, um... To avoid it, so, yeah. To, to benefit being a dodge tank. So I'm not a big fan of rogues. Thieves, or whatever they're called. Damn it, we didn't get the blue fur from the the blue hide. From the alpha, the wolf alpha, alpha wolf that we killed. Is that the guy? No, he's there, okay. You're mine now, fuckface. You're totally mine now, fuckface. I'm just going to go get this wood. I'll be back in a second. Stay right there. Oh, nice. Good wood. Iron wood. Cool. Um, can we not take that and this stat? Yeah, okay, good. And then we'll get rid of... Uh, we've got so many fucking... Mind resistance rings. We'll get rid of that. And take the alchemy ingredient. Whatever it is. Oh, shit. Treasure bandits have appeared. Nice. We've bushed blocked them. Whoa, there's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. So this guy is the bandit leader who needs to die. Okay, good. There's no teleporting assassins, so that's good. He's got a bloody axe. Get them. And he's got sharp weapons that cause bleeding. Okay. This is doable. Very doable. There's no fucking teleporting ninjas, for one thing. So they're all coming up around the top, so we want to go around the bottom. Have you ever triggered two enemies at once? No, I haven't succeeded in doing that yet. Does it actually do anything? Like, does it cause you to get into a bigger fight, or do you just handle them one at a time? Do you load one fight first, and then the second fight? Piercing arrows. It's using quite a lot of SP, but we just need to get through this fight and then we go back to the guild, so we might as well. Yeah, how do you like it, asshole? Asshole! <laughs> John has dodged every attack for the last, like, four turns. He's a fucking Giga Chad. Just go there and get your shield up, tank man. Block him. Block them while we handle these two. John can come here. Uh, cleave. And you got one of them. Rosa, Rosa. Obviously heal. <laughs> the bandit leader joins the back of the queue. Good shot from Hot Shot. Beautiful work. Even though she had a 50% chance of missing. Damn it, how did that hit? That was like really low chance of hitting and he fucking boshed me. Um, heal up. No, don't heal up. Use holy light on this guy. Make him vulnerable. John just attacked. He's just doing a one-on-one -on -one with this guy now because he's got no more SP. Well, not a one-on-one -on -one because he, this guy's going to come and help. But you know what I'm saying. Nice crit. Very good. Oh, he flashed me. Yeah, this is perfect. So we'll kill them all, and by the time the bandit leader gets to us, all his mates will be dead. Larger map with both groups fighting you at once. Ah, okay. Yikes. No, that would suck. Try and avoid that then.
tank man can attack this guy because he's flanking. Nice, get his shield up. Come on, man, block something. Yikes. Thank goodness he attacked the tank. If he'd attacked Nathan, we would have been in trouble. Ah, oh, John can't do anything. Oh, this guy can attack him and run away. Oh, he resisted the bleed. That's annoying. Now John can come in for an attack. Hotshot can finish this big guy and then run and hide in the bush so she doesn't get shot again. Rosa, Rosa! Can just heal the tank. And stay there. Nathan Finian can wait. Yeah, let him attack the frontliners. <coughs> and then Nathan can go and dispose of the archer. No, he flashed us again. That map was really beneficial for us. Teleport behind you, Shikar! He's got no idea what's coming. But what's coming is his inevitable demise. <coughs> oh, he missed the uh, string attack and chain attack. I can see this guy being a real problem if he'd come at us with his mates. If they'd all come together, he, he would have been a real pickle, a real issue. Dealing with him, because he's so tanky and he does so much damage with each hit. But because they all came in a line, in like a conga line, we were able to just like fuck up each one as they got to us. And then by the time the next one got to us, the first one had already died. Which was really lucky. Chain. Finish him. Good work. I forgot John's actually a really good two-hander. He's actually really solid. Really solid in general. Not enough space. Oh, we're definitely going to get rid of some shit. Get rid of six rations, definitely, for this. Yep. And then take the money. Yeah, that's good. Get rid of the six rations. Get out of here. Well, actually, there might be another event. Let's continue exploring. We've still got rations. There might be. Firstly, we can kill these. Uh, I forgot we've got quick save again. <laughs> uh, F5 quick save. We're going to camp because we can to heal. Then fight these fuckers. And then we're going to go look for the other event and see if there's anything good worth picking up. Uh, Rosa can meditate to get more SP back. Hotshot can hunt again. No, we've only got... I got rid of the supplies she hunted. That was... Hunting those last two times was a complete fucking waste, apparently. Um, no one needs BP, so Tank Man can get his armor up. And that's it. Rest. Everyone needs SP, not BP. Oh, I forgot to check the ambush percent chance. It might be high at this point. Phew, we didn't get ambushed. Okay, good. Ah, uh how -huh, we slipped by them. See you later, fool. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be another event. I thought there would be, because on these big maps, normally there's a couple of events. There might be one in there. But we're not going to be able to get to it, yeah, because of the, I don't want to fight ele elementals. I want to come and fight these bandits with treasure. Uh, so let's save it here, and then we can always leave if we lose the battle. Or can't do the battle, but I think we can do this no problem. Uh, let's see what have they got. They've got two teleporting 
Guys, one of them is really powerful. That is not good. Yeah, this might be a problem. Let's see what happens. The teleporting guys can be really hard to deal with, but I've got full BP. So I should be able to heroic hit them down and just fuck them up with heroic hits. I wish there was a way to get BP back. We're going to hide in the corner. Start. She doesn't have enough magic to do anything, so just shoot normally. Oh, come on, that should have crit. That should have killed even. I could have got the other guy. Could have killed the other guy with John if that had killed. So he can teleport four tiles. One, two, three, four. If he moves here, he can go one, two, three, four. He can teleport to there if he wants. But he can't teleport to here, so we're good. And then these guys can't reach. Yeah, he can go one, two, three. So he can get there. So Rosa's safe where she is, so just heal. Heal and stand your ground, Rosa. Attack. Uh, throw your daggers to kill this guy. Do that one coming out of the bush. And then... Oh, I should have waited. No, I shouldn't because he would have got his turn. Uh, stay in the bush. No, because this guy can reach. No, he can't. Okay, stay in the bush. Nice. Right, now we go for him. 17. No, BP it. So, right, kiss it. And uh, go for a power strike. Very nice. Tank man, you need to come and stun this guy. Shield bash 71%. No, BP it, please. 100%. Need to keep him stunned while we uh, kill everyone else. Or kill him, in fact. We just can't let him teleport off or attack anyone, basically. Chain it. Ah, oh, shame. I don't like the fact that Hotshot's back here by herself against this lot. Yeah, I need to move there to stop them getting the high ground. Just hold your ground, love. Friggin' coming at us now. Uh, I need. I know. No, I need to heal. Throw your daggers again for the finish. Eighty-one percent. Eight nah. Break it twice, so you kill him. And then it gives you some more AP, which means you can then attack this guy. Good work, Nathan. Hot shot, kill this guy, and then run away. Now run away. Oh no, he's even slipped through. No, don't kill Rosa. Oh, he's killing Nathan. Thank God that didn't crit. That would have killed Nathan in one if I had crit. Heal him. And friggin' leg it. Wait. Tank man, come here. You're stunning this guy. You're keeping this guy CC'd. 71% BP. 100%. Stun him. He resisted it. He 95% resisted the stun. Fucker. He rolled a crit on his resistance roll. Well, this is a pickle, isn't it? Glad I bought healing potions.
Uh, this guy needs to die. He's in our back lines. Nice work. Go there so he can't slip through. No, he crit Nathan! Oh, fucking death resisted. That was close. Just go for a normal attack. You're going to save your BP for your next shield bash. You're using health potions. Using another one. And just holding the ground. You are healing this guy. And just staying there. Thank goodness he's resisting the bleed. Uh, Hotshot can do this on him for the kill. Oh, nearly. Come on. Got no more daggers to throw either. Oh, Nathan has to just... No, he's already death resist one. He has to run. Attack. He got a crit. Very nice. Attack and run. He might slip through and kill him, actually. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, he could easily do that. Can't stop him. It's his turn next. Yeah. No, he's going after John. No! Fuck off. This guy is something else. Right. Come here and fucking shield bop him. Thank you. Fuck me. Rosa, Rosa. You need to heal John. Desperately. He fucking crit as well. Come on. Hotshot needs to kill this guy. Oh, it stunned him too. Are you kidding? So I can't retreat or heal him. Nathan needs to come back to hide. Rosa can heal John. And then run to there because she needs to pick up some berries. Jeez. This guy is going to be tough to take down. Leave John alone! I can't believe they stunned him a minute ago as well. How did he stun him with a hit that may also did a shit ton of damage? You need to come back and heal John because this guy's about to fuck him up. I think John might be gone here. Oh, thank God he didn't crit. Stop stunning him! I mean it. I'm serious. I'm serial. Stop stunning him, please. Good hit. Shield bop again. BP up. 96%? Nice. Need healing. Poor John is in such a pickle. Nice. Chain it, chain it. Good work, boys. John can attack him and run like a little girl. Tank man can come up top and just attack. We've almost got him, boys. We've almost... Oh, he's going first, though. Hot shot. Finish him. Okay. Now run away like a little girl. No, you have to stand your ground. He could get anyone. Oh, he's slipping through. Oh, he went for the tank. Thank fuck. For some reason, he went for the tank. He got a crit, but it just doesn't do much to the tank's health. I'm so glad he went for the tank then for some reason. Uh, no, we need to kill him, please. Oh, are you fucking kidding? He went first. Oh, that's such bullshit. He went first and killed Nathan. Fuck off. And now we're just missing everything. Oh, I forgot we need to do BP hits, don't we? We need to do heroic hits. There it is. Couldn't you have done that a minute ago and saved Nathan's life? Uh, do we keep that result? It's probably worth it if we get this. Sharpening stone. Uh, Nathan was good, but... Poor Nathan. I think it's time we take a lost chat. It's time we take a loss. You've got sh fucking tons of these. Get rid of them. You've got fucking tons of blood. Common monster blood. 
We don't even use alchemy. A uh, ton of ruby berries, ton of these. That we want, 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 that we want. Oh, okay. We're going to have to get rid of something we don't want to get rid of here, chat. 14 gold can go for the 10 hit points. That's so frustrating that he went early at the end and then he fucking killed Nathan. What's this? Plus dodgering, that doesn't matter. I could load it. I could save scum that, but I, you know, whatever. We'll take our first loss. Nathan wasn't amazing. He's he's fine. The whole point is he was going to be a leader. But we still haven't unlocked the leader ability yet. So, you know, whatever. We didn't invest too much in him. Let's get out of here. That was bullshit. That was fucking horseshit at the end. Does that mean everyone's going to be sad? We're going to take a massive morale hit. If everyone's really sad because he's dead, then we will have to reload it. No, it's fine. Everyone's fine. This guy's are happy. These guys are like the fact that he died. Assignment completed. Lance has completed her training with Zoldak and it looks more like more dead than alive. Zoldak reports that the training was a resounding success. And Lancet was now stronger than ever to stand against evil. Looking at Lancet's current state, you remark internally that before that, evil would have wait, have to wait first for Lancet being able to stand again. Good one, Lancet. So you just gained a bunch of stats. Oh, it doesn't show up here. Normally it shows up here but as a buff, but I guess it's just a flat increase. It's not a buff. Uh, assignment completed to help the farmers. Good. Everyone got back from helping the farmers. Uh, the eggs hatches again. We got another fucking basilisk. So that's two basilisks we have now. Right? Yeah, we've got two basilisks. That's awesome. Yeah, poor Nathan. He'll be he'll be missed. He'll be grieved. Uh, new week. Good to know. What does McCann have for sale? Oh, he has an earth staff. Plus 5 actuary, plus 8 magical attack, plus 1 physical attack, plus 15 earth potency. I barely use earth. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to buy that. I don't really use earth that much. It's fine, but I don't want it. Uh, that's quite nice. We're going to buy that since we've got fucking money coming out of our butts. Um, you can change into a higher class. Oh, Lance, you can become your... Um, you can become the knight. You can't become a paladin because your, your willpower and intelligence is too low. We're going to make you a knight like we said we would. Nice. That'll take you a day. Rosa's ready to level up. Yeah, that's fine. What else do you expect? Oh, John. Yeah, John's pretty decent. He's not. I wish John had died rather than uh, Nathan, to be honest. Because he's scarred as well, so he's a bit... He's just, yeah. He's got good strength and dexterity growth, but he doesn't have good hit points. I are knight. <laughs> yeah, Lance. Uh, try again, get this double strength. No, but you got an extra that instead, wisdom, so. Oh, he got two levels. He got to level six. And he got a two, a two, and a two. No, he got an extra one on each. So, re-roll it. Alright, that'll do. I, don't, I didn't understand what was going on at the end there, but John did well. I may not... Oh, I may not have book smarts, but I hit good. Yeah, mate, you're absolutely right. You do. You fucking hit good. Uh, the adventurers, you can learn your skill. Oh, someone else can change into a higher class now as well. Rosa can become another bishop. Very nice. And who has skills? It might be Lance, actually. You might have the skill. No, John does. 
Uh, counterattack, probably. Yeah, let's get him counter close combat training counterattacks. Good, she's piped down. Um, and new, new side stories? No, nothing new. Uh, let's visit the memorial and see. Oh yeah, these are all the people who have died. I completely forgot. Oh no, it's just these two. Gandalf and Nathan Finian were the two who died. Okay. They're the only two who died. Right, let's check the adventurer. See if we've got anyone good. Aurora is a glutton. That's fine. Impatient. Boring. Meh. Nah. Basic stats are garbage. No stars anywhere, so no... Scared of fire, increased crit, and strength growth. Good decks, but no stars. Layla has kind. Scarred and oblivious. Garbage. Healthy body. Clumsy. Fire scared. Dumb, pretty, arrogant. Uh, fast learner, frail. Pretty, drunkard. Everyone's shit again, aren't they? Magically talented. Okay, here we go. Gideon looks promising. He has a death wish, unfortunately. But he's got magically talented. So that increases his um, intelligence growth, his magical attack, and his SP. He's got a star in intelligence as well. So his intelligence will go out really well. So this guy would probably be... If we leave him in this class, he would make a good paladin. I think. Or do Paladins need Wisdom? I can't remember in this. I know Paladins use Wisdom in D&D. &D. I can't remember if they use Wisdom in this as well. Or if they use Intelligence. Damn, this guy was going to be really good except for the fact he's a drunkard. If he wasn't a drunkard, Slade would have been really good. Because he's got Strength and Dexterity. Yeah, no one that good again. At this point, we're looking to only hire elites. We've got a big crowd of people, a lot of whom are quite getting quite powerful now. And uh, yeah, so and we've got a couple of nooblets that we're we're training up as it is already. Intelligence for a paladin. Okay, so that guy would have been a good paladin. Let, we can just check actually. I don't know why I'm being a dum dum. Set class goal: paladin. Oh, you just hover over it, don't you, for it to see? Yeah, so willpower. So Paladin is strength, endurance, intelligence, and willpower. It must have been the Arcane Knight I was thinking of, yeah. It's the Arcane Knight I was thinking of. So that's strength and intelligence. But she didn't. he didn't have strength, did he? The, the person I was thinking of doing it on. He had intelligence. Just intelligence, yeah. He's got born leader and death wish. He just has magically talented. So he might have made a good mage. Basically, if he had a couple of other better traits. But no, nothing fancy anywhere. Um, assignments. They're still on the assignment for one day. Let's see if we can do another quest. So we've got to defeat by. Who can do that? Do we have anyone who can do that? Monster could give it a go. Monster's rank 6, right? He's got good hit points, good attack. Yeah, we'll give Monster a go. Uh, I haven't saved in a while at base, home base, so let's do that. Uh, and we'll fight by with uh, Monster. Oh, we're going to summon a Basilisk hatchling for definite. Does it stay with you once you've summoned it? Or does it go? Is it a use once item, I wonder? We should probably, for science, check that. Whoa, sharpening stone, plus two physical attack and plus 20 physical penetration. Giving that to him at the moment. Fuck yeah. 
And 10 hit points. I don't think he wants the extra hit points. I, need to, I think he needs something else. Like SP, maybe, just to keep swinging power attacks. I'd much rather he had more SP to swing power attacks over and over again than uh, increased health or whatever he just had. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, let's start. Let's see if he can do it. In front of monster stands by, cracking her knuckles. I hope you're ready, otherwise you're getting your ass whopped. She said confidently, hearing that one wouldn't think that she was wearing a blindfold. Prepare for battle. Oh, she is wearing a blindfold, jeez. Oh, fucking hell, she can move distance. Oh, they're double countering each other. Oh, he just fucked her in one. Fucking monster just takes her down. Fucking hero. What a chad. <laughs> Nicely done. Enough, declared Bai and took off her blindfold. She was grinning from ear to ear. It seems like not all of you are weaklings after all. She clapped her hands. All right, it's decided I will be staying here to teach my martial arts. She looked at monster and moved her face very close towards monster's face. With a mischievous smile, she said, I hope you will be there. Nice. Monster leveled up as well, perfect. So, what do you think? It was damn good fight. Your adventurers are tougher than most bastards I beat up. I might want to get serious next time. So, does that mean you agree to teach them? You can bet your f uh, flat ass I'm going to teach them. I and my fist in your face style are at your disposal. I hope you'll be praying, paying my drinks from now on. I'm going to go broke, am I? <laughs> okay, buys unlocked. Cool. So, people are ready to level up again. Monster, obviously. Is an absolute monster. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. I want some season twos, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's more like it. Uh, and who else is ready to level up? Oh, Slade is. He must have finished the assignment. Oh, almost a perfect level. I'll take that. Very nice. Slade has another skill point in that case. Because he just reached rank 4 or 2 skill points. Um, yeah, he can get that and lightning as well. Lightning magic adept. After days of training, the adventurers finally completed Luana's training regime. Many of them were exhausted from the experience, but at least now they were more prepared to f against the perils of the next adventure. Nice. Ah, oh, delete that. And then, relationship changed. A Parthonox and Priest. A Parthonox and Priest have steadily built up a trust and have now become friends. Amongst adventurers, friendship is a valuable thing because there is nothing more reassuring than to have people around who you can trust. Nice, a Parthonox is friends with Priest. Uh, good. Bye. Gets, give, can give, put, give someone training. Now that Bai has become an instructor in the Adventurer Guild, she declared her desire to take on the first disciple under her wing. She asked you to send a fitting Vict, I mean suitable student to her, that can receive all the love she has to offer as a master. They will gain strength, dexterity, and endurance growth. That's really good for a two-hander. So, who do we give that to? It has to be... Well, whoever's got the highest stats between... Who's the higher level? The Chef de Cuisine is six, and Lance is six as well, I think. Yeah, so who's got higher stats? Lance, you have 66 health and 34 magic. Sixty-six health and thirty-four magic. So Chef de Cuisine that beats you there. Sixteen strength, eleven endurance.
Yeah, he's beating you flat out at the moment. Dexterity and wisdom. Uh, so six and six for both of those. So you got some just slightly more wisdom than him. Oh, monster. You reckon monster should get it? Yeah, that's true, actually. He is fucking beat. Well, he's already got high endurance and dexterity growth, so I think he's okay. We don't want to stack up too much on just one dude and rely too much on him. He actually needs intelligence instead. We were going to change his class, weren't we? To something that gives made sure he got intelligence. Because he needs 10 intelligence to level up. Into an arcane caster or an arcane knight. So we're going to change his class now to something like a wizard. Monster, you're going to become a wizard, a mage. Intelligence B, yeah. Become a mage. Uh, so I think we give it to Mr. Chef de Cuisine, to be honest. He's got, because he doesn't have any stars anyway. He's got these, which is basically we've made him good through this stuff. So therefore, I think we make him better to give him better, um, what's it called? Growth potential. Especially in dexterity. He needs more dex. Yeah, I think we give it to Chef de Cuisine. Um, where is it? Assignments. Assigned. Chef, get in there, boy. 88% chance to succeed. Good luck. Congrats on this success. You've been rolling. Yeah, mate, we're doing really well. We've got loads of side missions out of the way. Um, yeah. Since the Necromancer went down, it's been uh, easy easy sails. Easy breezy sailing. Um, oh, yeah, there's another side story available. The good man. I'm not entirely nihilistic. I do believe there are genuinely good people in this world. Franny was such a person. However, Zoldak is in a category of his own. Sometimes I find myself wondering what motivates him to try so hard. Right, chap. It's been about an hour and a half. Oh, it's been like nearly two hours. I need to run to the loo. I need to get myself another drink. I will be right back in a few moments. So use this time yourselves to do anything you got to do. And I will see you guys in a second. Please don't go anywhere.
Alright guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for your patience. Let's dive in. Uh, I'm gonna have to end the stream in a minute though guys. Unfortunately my dog's starting to get, or the dog's starting to get quite needy. I think I need to take her out for a walk again. Because she didn't go to the toilet this morning when I took her for a walk then. So there's a chance she needs to go now. So unfortunately it's going to be a bit of a shorter stream today. It's not going to be a super long one. I'm probably just going to read this side story actually and then call it quits there. Um, I do hugely appreciate everyone being here and I appreciate the support. Thank you for joining. I'm sorry the stream can't be longer. I am looking after the dog for the day unfortunately. Um, but yeah I'll be back tomorrow uh, in the morning with more our adventurer guild then and i'll go long then i'll go for a good four or five hours so if anyone can join and wants to hang out then i'd hugely appreciate it um shane you know how do you see attribute requirements from other classes yeah mate yeah of course um we've just changing uh one of our guys into a mage or one of our two-handers monster into a mage because he needs more intelligence to go up into an arcane knight <clears throat> so we're just changing him into a mage to do that first. Um, yes, yeah, so let's read that side story and then I'm probably going to call it quits, guys, just to make you aware. So, Guildmaster, have you seen Zoldak anywhere? Eh? No? By the gods, where is that man? I've looked everywhere and can't find a trace of him. I'm worried if he's alone by himself. <clears throat> Zoldak, I think I saw him leaving the guild this morning. He mentioned going on patrol against evil or something like that. What? Why didn't you stop him? I, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. He's not a child leader and he seems to still be fit for his age. And besides, the area around here is pretty safe. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. He'll probably be back in no time without any issues. Mert, Mr. Eden, some travelers just carried Zoldak back to the guild. He's injured. They say he fought a bear bare-handed. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was never much of a gambler. <laughs> Great work, boy. I'm back on my feet, ready to fight evil once more. You will not. What the hell were you thinking? I didn't tell you. Didn't I tell you to stop doing these patrols? You nearly died today. And how is fighting a bear, bare-handed, anything to do with thwarting evil? <laughs> But it was just for a just cause. I saw some travellers being chased by a bear and I had to intervene. By fighting it barehanded, well, it didn't seem necessary to kill it, so I thought I could maybe simply chase it away through intimidation. I guess that didn't really work out, did it? No, it did not. In fact, I could swear it was laughing at me. In the end, I did manage to chase it away, but not before sustaining serious injuries. I have to admit, that's kind of impressive still. Please don't encourage him, Guildmaster. Uh, excuse me? And you are? We're, we're the travellers who were chased by the bear. You were the ones who carried Zoldak back. I'm sorry, I forgot to thank you for that. No, 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 we're the ones who are grateful. If it weren't for your friend here, we might have ended up in the belly of the beast. For that, you have our gratitude, Sir Paladin. There's no need. It's my duty to help anyone in need. Sorry, I'll drop the issue for now, Zodak. I just want you to be more careful. Helping is all well and good, but you also need to think about yourself more. Promise that. Promise me that you won't put yourself in danger like that again. I can't promise anything. What? Come back here, Zoldak. What do you mean by that? It's like he's obsessed with helping people. Funny. Interesting. Okay. Right, guys. I'm sorry to have to end the stream early. My dog's getting really needy and I've got to take her out. So, yeah. Going to be back tomorrow morning with a proper long stream then. I hope you've appreciated the couple of hours you spent together this morning. I know I have. And guys, shout out to all the new viewers and subscribers of the channel. We're now up to 1.3 thousand subs. Guys, thank you so much for all the support, all the love, all the comments, all the likes and helping the channel grow as much as it has. I never expected it to get to this level and I'm truly humbled and appreciate and enjoy all of um, the feedback I get from how much they're enjoying the content. So guys, keep it coming, and I'll keep the content coming, and it'll be a long and prosperous relationship in the Special Legion. Um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for the next stream. If not, I'll see you in some other uh, content I produce. I try and make content every single day now, so sal wait till next time. <laughs>